Welcome back to the Dow Finance Live. Shares of Microsoft are under pressure in the pre-market after the company updated its full year guidance. And Brad, wow, uh, especially a day after we got some update guidance from, from Salesforce, Salesforce, which is, of course, the Microsoft competitor. I would say, just looking at this presentation that Microsoft put together uh, via new filings, they, they lowered the bottom end of their earnings outlook by $0.04, cents and they trimmed the top end of their earnings outlook by $0.03. Cents. And they're blaming FX exchanges, which is not too different uh, from what we just heard from HPE CSO, uh, Tarek Robiati, moments ago. Uh, another tech company lowering their outlook because of FX headwinds. Yeah, this is for their fiscal fourth quarter. So in this year, particularly here through May, what they're saying right now is revenue. The guidance range previously. Good day, good day, good day, good day. I hope everyone is doing great. I hope you're doing great, guys. Uh, welcome to our live session. Welcome to our live session. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, the market seems like uh, we are on a ranging market. We are on a ranging market. And we le we just left with a few uh, seconds for the, for the market to open. So there is still enough pressure, actually, in the market. There is still enough pressure in the market. So, yeah, we will just wait and see what's really happening. The market just opened. Uh, Microsoft actually I see they're talking about Microsoft it's not doing great which means we might see a sell-off on on Nasdaq uh, let me greet my people I can see uh, I can see cool Paris here uh, Zenon, how are you? Nati, how are you, my brother? Uh, Piyush, I can do, uh, like uh, this new angle of camera. Okay, that's great, thanks. Uh, actually, I, I, um, I just need like something. Actually, I, I need to upgrade my, my studio. I need to find a place where I can just... Uh, use I can just use that place for for my studio and I can have all these things like uh, simple but uh, time will tell when times goes on uh, I'm, I'm gonna upgrade that slowly so uh, Ezekiel uh, how are you my brother yeah and actually that break out actually uh, i see that it's not actually holding up so we might see a very strong sell-off by the way we might see a very strong sell-off so yeah that's that's something that i can see so let's just go on i even forgot to change uh, the camera so this is what i see <sighs> yeah so I'm hoping that everyone is doing great, guys. I hope you're doing great. So, the market is selling off. The market is giving us a sell. So, I can see, uh, Papo, how are you, man? Uh, uh, Manu. Manu. How are you, CPT King, my brother? How are you? I hope you're doing great. Uh, and I can see Putty, uh, Putty, how are you, man? Uh, I hope everyone is doing great. So, actually, here you can see that um, the market is creating this sort of uh, arranging move. Let me remove that. Even yesterday, it was here. Actually, this forces us actually this week i can I, I will just say we did not have enough trades 
because the market has been playing around that area and we can't force anything even if we try to force you can see that we don't really have something there so for us to force uh trades it will be like uh some seriously risky but what you uh, what i like here is it seems like the market respects these areas for now the market is respecting those areas for now uh, those areas you can see that so which i'm expecting the market to to consolidate like that i think maybe that is also happening on let me check us 30. i think it's also happening on us 30. let me remove this so you can see that uh let me push this yeah so you can see even on us 30 this it's quite similar move actually this is quite similar move so we see nicely that the market is not going anywhere so which shows you us that we're supposed to wait we're supposed to wait what we're going to do is we're going to act if the market is going to go above that resistance why because here the market is just consolidating and we don't want to participate in the market which is not going anywhere so we need the market which is pushing to the upside as we are on an uptrend currently you see so let's check another one Oh, we're smashing, we're smashing oil. Uh, I just said this in the group, by the way. I sent this signal in the group. Maybe two hours, one hour ago or two hours ago. Then, yeah, it seems like obviously they are eating. I hope they are eating. Unfortunately, on NASDAQ and USDT, we won't have enough, enough uh, trades, you see. So let's see what's the other companies are doing <sighs> Moin, assalamu alaikum how are you my brother i hope you're doing great and uh, nasdaq will, uh, nasdaq will push up oh okay uh, mm. So, yeah, I'm trying to check. Uh, I'm trying to check uh, the heat map. What's really happening on the heat map? Yeah, but I see that US thirty S and P five hundred Nasdaq, they actually not doing good. They are not doing great. So the market is still struggling here, guys. The market is still struggling, which makes that support area like a bit stronger. Uh, it makes it stronger. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, Apple is on negative, Amazon on negative, Microsoft negative. Yeah, so it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Let me try to show you this. Uh, you can see that uh, mostly oil. Okay, oil is going down on the other side. Where is Tesla? Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe the market will recover, guys. We don't really know. Because the market is actually playing around the resistant area. So maybe we'll see some sort of recovery and we can't do anything. Uh, actually, we can't do anything. We can't do anything. So the market, there's a possibility for the market to push the upside. But with this type of a move there, it's going to be some serious issues for us. But it's not surprising. Most of the time when the market breaks out, creates some moves like that. So let me see. Okay. Uh, US state and NASDAQ guys, the, the structure is just the same. The structures are just the same. So for for us, actually, who follow the rules, actually, uh, we're not going to do it, to buy anywhere around this. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to wait for the market to go up here. Then above this resistance, it's where we can start doing what? We can start to buy, you see. Why? We're not forced, guys, just to trade uh, even if the market doesn't allow us to do that. Because the market has to show us something. Now we are on a consolidation move. So for us to just go inside this consolidation and say we buy in, it's, it's not going to be right. Uh, so we just need to wait for the breakout. Then we can have a trade. Then we can continue with that. Then if the market pushes up, then we can keep buying. But now the market is still consolidating. We're not going to play like that. So we just need to wait, by the way. We just need to wait, by the way. Yes, sometimes we, we're still going to see that mostly when the market reaches this area, it pushes up. But that does it doesn't mean that we need to get into the trades. You see. We don't need to get into the trades. We don't need to get into the trades. We just need to wait for a nice breakout. Because we can't finish all these moves, guys. It might seem like maybe a nice opportunity to buy here. Just because you, you, you have that fear of missing out. But you can't repeat that uh, often. The market is going to punch you one day when you do stuff like that. Uh, you see. So, yeah, uh, let's wait and see. For, for us, it's obvious now that the market is respecting this area. That with us now, it's fine. We're just waiting for the market to come around this area before we say maybe something is going to happen. You see, so, yeah. It's just a matter of us waiting. Matter of waiting and being patient. I already sent the video for... The video for for trading plan. Uh, I hope you can go watch that. Maybe that might try to assist. 
that might try to assist you that might try to assist uh, if you watch that maybe you can learn one or two things yeah yeah so i think i think the market is still playing around let's just wait for it and see if maybe there's let's just wait uh, for it and see if maybe there's something happening but for now i don't see that for now i don't see that yeah let let it play around uh, then for we just waiting for a breakout by the way we're not going to take anything here because that is the first, uh, actually, the first um, consolidate or the first structure that we had. Not the support area. The support we see, but this is the first structure that we have. So we want to make sure that we, are, we need to be sure that the market will keep pushing up. If it does that, yes, we can miss these areas. It's fine. We can get the market here. So over time, the market... We're going to get it nice. So sometimes it's better to start nicely uh, with the market. I mean, sorry, with the with, with with the month is like the first of the month is better to start things on the right note. Try try your best to be the best version of you. Don't just chase trades. Uh, be that. Try to change. Try to learn and change. You see. And once you learn those things, try to place them or maybe put that into action uh, because that is going to help you to improve. But if we say we follow the rules, but when we see the market doing something like this, jumping on the market, that is not really good and that is not really sustainable. That is not really sustainable. So, yeah, um, give me one minute. I'm coming.
Yeah. It seems like the market is actually respecting our area here. And which is something that we want, guys. It's something that we actually want. Because I'm expecting the market to create something like this. Then we're going to get the market here. On top here. On the green uh, area there, it's where we can get on the market. So now, we're going to leave the market to do its thing around this area. We're going to let the market play around this area. Then it can confuse whoever that it, it wants to confuse then, but we will be watching. Then after the dust or after the storm, then we can jump on the market on the blue area. Or sorry, on the green area there, you see. That's what I'm planning to do. That's what I'm planning to do. So, let's see. What about US oil? No, on US oil is machine US oil, guys. I I sent the signal in the in the VIP group. I think this, if maybe you watched my daily, that's why I say you should watch my daily analysis. Uh, if you watch, if you did watch my daily analysis, I think you are aware of this move because I said the market might go to the upside, and nicely now it's pushing to the upside, which means we are in that nice profit. So for those who followed uh, or who took the signal. They are in that profit. So, yeah, and the market can still move up to this area. It's fine. It's fine, but the structure the structure was there already. You can see that the market actually created a very nice move there. So, that is actually an uptrend. That's why, and it's quite simple because the market just came back exactly on, the, on that support area. So obviously we were expecting the market to push the upside. Even if it comes back around this area again, we will be expecting the market to, the, to push the upside. Yes, there is a chance for the market maybe to break that area and maybe to go to the lower side. Yes, there is that chance. But while once we are on that uptrend, mostly 90% of the time the market will be respecting that, you see. Um... Sibenko si 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 sibenko sinko si man we please don't uh, if maybe you want to buy or if you want to sell just do that on your own don't say I'm buying this and that whatever there because there's people who are still very like very very new in the market and they might try to do the same thing as you there so please don't do that so let me see uh, hi hi subusi uh, so how are you my brother. Uh, Mario, how are you? Uh, Picasso, what's up, man? What's up? I hope you're doing great. Uh, it's not Kenzie, it's Kenzo. It's Kenzo. It's Kenzo, it's not Kenzie, ne? So, yeah, let's just go on our... our Guys, you see, this week, actually, Monday to Thursday, actually, today's Thursday, we did not have enough trades. Why? Because... The market actually is not uh, doing what we want. The market is still playing around. Francisco, how are you, my brother? I hope you're doing great. Um, yeah, the market is still playing around. We're still on this consolidation move. So can we act? No, we don't. If this was the second move, you see this, if this was happening on top here. Uh, let me see. If this was happening on top here, yes, we were just going to take it. But this is the first one. And this is the first move, which we can rely on the first move uh, of the structure. So, yeah, let me remove that. If, if the market was, like, let me, if the market was doing the same thing here, 
yes we're going to have some nice buy position around because we will be understanding what's really happening you see but this one here is the first one and our strategy uh, actually to make our strategy powerful we wait for the market to show us the structure several times before we take anything before we take anything you see and that the thing is you see when you follow the rules sometimes when you follow the rules uh, the thing is the problem of following the rules of of having trading plan is mostly you trade you 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 go, you're going to have very very few trades because there's rules that you should you're supposed to follow but if you don't have the rules obviously you can trade uh, within a week you can have like 40 signals and stuff like that and trading too too many signals that in, they don't really guarantee wins you see so you have to be aware of that you have to be aware of that so yeah that's what our uh, uh, that's what we're going to do so even here it's quite similar to what we see here so we can say if the market is gonna go to the upside uh what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we're gonna buy around this area we're gonna buy around this area uh, but this one here is the first structure it's still very fresh there is a possibility that the market can still uh, push lower there is that possibility you see so yeah that's why we're not just going to jump on the market because we use money we use money so uh george how are you my brother i hope you you're doing great yeah i'm having a very very great day black liquid my sister how are you uh, i hope you're doing great um kasawa hello 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 guys i did a video for 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 trading plan so you can just go watch that and if you have some questions after you can just come back to me when we go live and maybe you can ask me some sort of questions you know some of the things that we share there is things that maybe uh is things other things that i shared there is mostly everything that i shared there is something that i share actually on the vip group but yes you can have the taste of of what we teach actually so and see maybe what's really happening so um uh, shahab shazab Salam Kenzo from Pakistan. Salam, salam, salam alaikum. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, I hope you're doing great, man. All over. We have my sister from US. Uh, my brother uh, from Pakistan. Some from UK. Some from Europe. We have Mzanzi. Uh, Mzanzi, South Africa. And we have some other countries. Maybe we have Niger. Any any country we here, we are here. So which is great, guys. Which is great. So we we supposed to help each other. So yeah, slowly we improve. So slowly we are going to improve. And uh, I can see Kahiso. Kahiso, how are you, my brother? From Botswana. From Botswana. Uh, it's our neighbor. By the way, it's our neighbor, or not neighbors. Actually, it's our brothers and sisters. Uh, the border thing doesn't mean anything, actually. Uh, Francisco representing Portugal. So you can see we're global, by the way. We are global. We are global, guys. We are global. So we're doing some great stuff. Sibu Siso from Swaziland, uh, also our brothers, our brother. So, yeah, we, we just need to eat. Doesn't matter where you're coming from, as long as we can have a nice strategy to eat, that's great. That will be great, you see. We need to eat. So, you see Nasdaq is going back again, back on that support area again. So... Which means, yeah, we're not doing wrong, by the way. We're not, uh, by waiting, we, we're just waiting for some good stuff to happen. Waiting, guys. Mostly when you wait, good things, they will come. Not saying you should wait for things to happen, but sometimes you have to have 
patient just because you have a calculated structure that you're going to use then to to smash the market mm, so this is just from swaziland mampaka gift uh, for a represent a repre representing mzanzi representing south africa yes that's great man that's great so actually we should have something that is gonna be here all day long about the markets yeah but we will see what we can do we, we will see what we can do yeah we will see i think actually there must be a session for for london session and also u.s session Mm. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. By the way, so we're still trying to grow, but let's we can just wait for maybe if maybe we can reach ten thousand subscribers, or maybe twenty, then we will be making sure that maybe we can have a a studio like apartment for only a studio, where I can maybe have few people who can also help me maybe london session u.s session and maybe yeah because there is untapped untapped uh, markets guys there's untapped ma markets which are seriously busy uh there is indian uh, stocks exchange obviously we should also look at that chinese or shanghai uh, indexes we should also look at the at those things there is also australia um france 40 france 40 german 40 uk 100 years we on that we're supposed to also check them not only nasdaq only because we have to diversify guys uh maybe we can get something we can get something we should learn something actually we should learn uh so ezekiel thank you so much brother for the trading plan and i have learned that discipline is the key from now on i'm going to follow my plan and let the market come to me not the other way around thank you very much my brother you see uh my brother the, uh, the Clo ezekiel already watched the video and the best way after you have the uh, you, you watch the video the video is there just to guide you the video can't do anything for you, but once it guides you, it's then that you can start to take action. You see, because all of us, we mostly we know a uh, trading plan, but we don't really take action. That's the problem. Let's start to take action, guys. Let's start to be disciplined. Let's, the only difference between someone who is profitable and you is because you don't have rules. Or if maybe you have rules, you don't really respect those rules. You just want to trade just because you have to. I, I don't know why, but people, they just want to trade nonstop. So, that's great, my brother. Uh, thank, uh, thanks, thanks, Sibu Siso Henry. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, especially for us, Let's say I have a group actually for people who I I'm supposed to send the signals. So for other people, actually, it's there's pressure between that because people they just want signals. They don't care whether there's any opportunity or something. People they want signals, you see. And if you don't send the signals, it seems like oh this guy said uh, he will send signals, but he's, he's not sending the signals. And at the same time, you're trying to help them. And they, I, I understand some of them, they don't really understand that. But the most uh, the most profitable traders, they trade very, very few. They have very, very few signals, you see. And I try to, I try my best so that people, they can understand that. The more you have discipline, not only in trading, in life, I'm also trying to improve from that. But the more you have discipline, mostly most of the time you start to be in control so don't let the market control you you see when it goes up and down don't just let the market control your emotions 
be in control and you will start to see that oh I, I was supposed to wait here i was supposed to act here i was supposed to do this here i was supposed to do this and that yes along the way very very small percentage of the time yes sometimes we're still going to lose some but once you take that control it's where you start to see the difference you start you no longer uh, like have to weigh uh, i mean you no longer like have that fomo uh, you no longer like you no longer greedy you no longer uh, in, i mean you no longer like mind you don't mind waiting longer you don't mind w trading only twice a week if that's how the market is doing and now it's funny because nothing is positive in the market if i can check the news okay only oil only oil only oil it's going up but the other ones guys they're, they're struggling they're seriously struggling and we should understand that you see so kenzo okay <sighs> Tlanganisa from Swaziland. Hi there, Tlanganisa from Tlanganisa Lamini. Is that um Ayotonga? I don't know. I know maybe from Swaziland it's mostly it's Swati or maybe in Devela and stuff like that. But Ayotonga, mostly uh, Tlanganisa, it seems like to be a Tonga. Oh, uh, okay, it's fine. Lloyd in Lofu, good day, sir. So hope you are doing great. Yes, I'm doing great. The thing is, we're not trading. We're just waiting for that opportunity to happen. Someone says, just check gold. Yeah, guys, we, we, I can check gold because nothing is happening that much. So, before we go on gold, we can see that uh, on US 30, the market is still here and the market has been there guys the market has been playing around this area since let's see since the highest was let's see the highest okay since the first of this this or since monday the market has been just going around this area you see and around this area it seems to be a support so Actually, that's why, for those who don't understand, that's why maybe we don't really take any signal. The signal that we took, it was something like this. Then the market tried to break that, touch our our, our order, then pushed lower. So, which was not great, but now we're supposed to wait. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Let me check. Okay, uh, in the group, they're still smashing. They're still smashing... Um, oil okay so now on gold on gold it seems like the market is breaking that area it's it seems like it's breaking that area let me use let me use uh let me use one hour uh miguel shama Chama, you are the best. Okay, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. So let's see, let's see, let's see. If if this thing is gonna go above this area, this is gold, by the way. Uh, we also have similar moves. The market is just consolidating around that area, but now the market is playing around that. What can we do when we see the market doing something like that? What are we going to do? Is we go into have a nice buy pending order above this area above also this area here we can have something like that if the market is going to push to the upside then we can say you know what uh, we're going to take trades above that we can go back and try maybe to check that on 15 minutes uh, but that doesn't really change anything uh, let's see that on 15 minutes So we're going to have a, 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 a signal here around this area. 
but there is a possibility that the market can also push lower there is a possibility that the market might keep doing what it's doing currently so you should be careful you should be careful so i'll be taking a trade around 1873.4949 something there if it's gonna uh, we're gonna have that uh if we're gonna have that breakout yeah you can adjust your stop loss according to whatever that you want Ah, oh, you are my mentor. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. The trading plan. Where's trading plan? On the on, on the group. I mean, on the channel. Go check that. You, you're you going to find it. Thank you, uh, Miguel Chama. You are the units of all the management. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Let me try to send this signal. Mm, let me try to send this signal. gold is still playing around the the resistant and which might be broken this is exactly what we want on nasdaq this is something that we actually want on nasdaq for the market to push higher and break that area but if it doesn't break that area there is nothing we can do we can just relax you see But there's it's a possibility for the market to to shoot lower also as the market is on on a resistant. <laughs> the take profit nine one. Sixteen two six six. Yeah, finito. Uh, so, but it seems like the market will respect that, but it's fine. If it doesn't, then it means our buy pending order will be fine there. Um, you are not forced to have like a far, like something like here. I mean, I'm talking about the... The take profit, whatever that you make, you can just try uh, to to close if maybe you feel good with that. So US thirty trying to respect that area, which is great. It makes our job very simpler. Uh, here, Nasdaq is also struggling, but maybe we'll see another push. So we don't trade. Actually, we don't. We don't really have to entertain each other when it comes to the rules we have to follow the rules so that at the end of the day we all uh, consistent the best thing is to be consistent and we can obviously that is going to boost our confidence especially when you start to be consistent you're gonna have that confident and when you have confident mostly most of the time you still you, st you start to see things much better because you are not in any pressure. You're not trying to impress anyone. You just have to try to follow the rules. And that way it's how you make things happen. You see. So let me try to read some comments. Okay. 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 Tlanganisa. I'm not Tonga. I'm Swazi. Okay. I understand that. Uh, that's great. Mario Stanga said, don't you use five minutes to see what uh, the market is doing on gold? Nope. I don't really use five minutes time frame. The smallest that I can go is actually 15 minutes. But just to adjust where maybe I can place the, the entries. But I can still do that on an hour. But just to adjust those things. Remember, those are just candlesticks, by the way. So whatever that you see is exactly what you see on 15 minutes. But just that you zoomed very... On a, time, on a smaller time frame, it's just that you went way, way too closer. And sometimes when you're too close, it's not like you see things 
the right way and also i'm avoiding to use like multiple time frames they sometimes confuse so i want to use something that i know that it's not going to confuse me and it's working 90 percent of the time it's working so yeah but it's, you can still use any time frame that you want uh, we just need that nasdaq to push the upside and it's doing that uh, let's hope it's gonna break that area then we can have something um uh let me see uh please check euro usd there's possibility of buying my brother my brother i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm not i we, we, we're not going to check that because we end up doing like multiple things at once like at the end of at the end of the day like you find that maybe i checked like m almost 10 uh 10 instruments which is not actually what we do so we're sticking actually on nasdaq actually the main source or the main thing that we do here it's only nasdaq yeah sometimes we check the us dts and the other one but the main thing is to check um nasdaq i'm sorry man uh, maybe next time we'll add that uh yeah i hope you understand that guys for those who want to join the team if you want to learn uh, this nice information uh, there it's my contact you can just whatsapp me a uh, yearly mentorship and vip signals it's only 150 dollars and monthly signals it's only it's only 45 dollars so let's wait and see hey we've been waiting guys since tuesday since monday tuesday wednesday thursday tomorrow is that oh, and tomorrow there is nfp i think tomorrow we might see the market giving us some serious moves as it's friday plus there's nfp yeah that might be great that might be great the market might start uh, to move the market might start to move Yeah, so actually tomorrow there's nfp let me check this again but it's friday we expecting nfp by, uh, by the way you should also check that uh, since we we are like on different time zones you can check what time uh, in your country where uh, they will be releasing nfp so that is part of fundamentals by the way it's fundamentals um So on my side here, uh, it's on it's a half past two. Uh, just check that maybe on your side you might see it in a different time. Yeah, but just because it will be during the day, we can go live. You see, we can go live around quarter past two. Yeah, we can go live around quarter past two, like fifteen minutes before maybe we can trade that uh, maybe we can trade that maybe we can also maybe see what we can do maybe on currency pairs maybe uh, but mainly on nasdaq but on currency pairs guys i used to trade only the news so i know one or th uh, or two things that we're supposed to do when we trade but it's a bit risky but i think we can maybe go live before half half past two there we can go before that we can go live and maybe we can just hold up up to the market open but that will be long then we can stop it then continue again something like that i think we should uh, Walter, Walter, hey man, uh, how are you, man? Uh, I've been like, I think, uh, uh, uh the, maybe there's more than two days or three days, 
not seen you on the channel maybe the last time that i saw you on the channel it was last week or unless if maybe you were not maybe commenting i think it's been a long time Mm, so so are you from Ray? okay mm. sir please go back to gold What's really happening happening on gold, guys? What's happening on gold? I think it's still the same. I think we still on that uh, resistant area. Unless if the market is gonna break that. Unless if the market is gonna break that. Then if it's gonna break that uh, we have a buy pending order on top of that then it's fine so yeah we're just waiting for a breakout by the way we're just waiting for a breakout so don't jump on the market exactly on the resistant area because the market might go back and punch you the market might go back because this thing sometimes is way too volatile and with the fake breakouts hey, it's very dangerous you know? Uh, yes i i i don't really when you say trade i do the analysis of gold and other stuff but it's not like i take the trades for that i've been doing the analysis for some time but i just stick to one thing i stick to nasdaq only so that actually limit too much things to follow i i don't have to track every news that's really happening so as long as there's analysis it's fine so i only trade nasdaq i only trade nasdaq so you can see nasdaq is still playing around it's been there and it can still be around this area even tomorrow and and maybe tomorrow is where maybe we can find some sort of a breakout Maybe it's where we can find some sort of breakouts, but currently the market is still persisting. The market is still playing around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's deck is going down guys. the market is going down guys the market is going down the market is going down so what can we do actually there's nothing we can do there is nothing we can do Uh, the market is you see if maybe you were in the trade now you were going to think twice and say hey this thing is playing around because we can see it's just going up and down so it's not really safe for us it's not really safe for us to be in the market because the market is still playing around so please guys if maybe okay you trade uh, uh SMP 500 and USDT. That's that's great then. That's great. Yeah, there's the, actually there's no uh Stephen there's no clear direction by the way. There is no clear direction. There is no clear direction. So guys, uh, if you find the information that we try to share here, 
if you find that information like great you can give me the like a uh, thumbs up there you can just give me the like 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 a like if it's possible on your site you can also share the video you can also share the videos with your friends whoever who wants to, uh, who wants some help so nasdaq is seems like it's playing games let me just zoom that for you you can see this the the thing is playing games with us just imagine if we were in a trade we will be like thinking twice now because it went up it's going down up and down so that's not really good guys that's not really good so there's no clear direction and whatever that is happening currently i i know it might be also happening on on smp on smp uh, because you saw that it's also Yeah, so you can see this thing actually even on 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 s p 500 is still also doing the same thing so but you you might also see something like that it's possible for you to, to see a, a move like that but uh it's not really safe for us to say let's buy one two three you know we just need to relax we also see that so that's why we have few trades this week we have very, very, very few trades this week. Uh, so, do you trade Bitcoin? If yes, on which platform? Nope, I don't trade Bitcoin. What I do is, I just invest in Bitcoin. But now it's been going down, you know? Uh, it's been going down. I think Bitcoin currently is not easy to trade that. It's easy to trade, but hey, the, the spreads, man, the spreads are crazy. The charges with uh, that, they actually go crazy. But now, currently these days, the, since people, they start to trade to, uh, Bitcoins, the spreads, they've been going down, they've been going down. Yeah, but uh, in the near time, obviously, we'll be able to trade bitcoins and the other ones nicely you see the w i'm not surprised when it maybe it's expensive to trade a uh, bitcoin it's quite similar to let's say when you want to trade something which is not really traded by so many people so that automatically it makes it uh, to be like some sort of uh, exot exotic pair because it's not something which is not really active like people they don't really trade that much they mostly invest in bitcoin that's why it's mostly it's it's, it's expensive but that should change uh, in the near term um that should change in the near term cp which i okay the okay i already answered that stephen my brother my brother i love your consistent extra to succeed in the game we need to be selective with entries. Stick to the risk management and never over trade. Great. Thank you, my brother. Don't forget to smash the like, by the way. Don't forget to smash the like. So thank you very much. So, yes, you see, uh, it's not really easy, guys, to... We just have to reach a level where when you, you start to trade, like, often, you just have to reach a level where you can say, you know what? I, I understand what's really happening in the market. 
it's similar. The more you trade too much, the more you over trade in the market, it turns like it's no longer the market. Now it's like casino. You win, you lose, you win, you lose. At the end of the, of the day, the house always wins. The more you stay there longer, the more you always active in the market because you no longer, you can't always, there, there won't always be the, uh, the opportunities in the market. We can't find opportunities every day. But if you force in those opportunities, it's like you always try your luck, like casino. You miss, you miss, you miss, you win. But you already lost some. So we don't have to uh, do that, actually. We just have to wait. Then act when there is high probability. If there is enough chances that the market can do something, it's where we start to, 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 to react. We don't have to guess when there is enough probability. Yes, we understand small losses is going to be there. But that is not, it's going, it's not going to uh, change your winning uh, 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 rate. Your win rate is going to be higher because you don't just take, 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 take. You see. So, yeah. Uh, currently, the market is still playing games with us. Since since the market opened, now it's half past, it's half past four. We have an hour. And, yeah, we have an hour here. But what do we do? We see here, the market has been here. The market has been there. Actually, the, actually, there's no move. It's like they just cancel each other. If we change that time frame and go maybe to a different time frame, let's firstly use a four-hour time frame. I want to see what is the real change there. So you can see it's still on a one candlestick, which is actually on a bearish. So let's use two hours time frame and see also on that one can list it so actually there's nothing happened there you see so that's why we say sometimes waiting we understand that you want to make money and uh, making money it doesn't mean you have to be all over the place trying to find the trades sometimes the only thing that makes us to lose is our emotions Yes, maybe you need to pay certain things. You need to pay. Uh, you want to pay whatever that you want to pay. And now you're forced to make money, even if there is not that opportunity. Then that is the trap, actually. It's a trap for the market. The market wants people like you who feel like they have all these problems. Everyone has the same problems, but they something that makes us different is to wait. Wait, shoot when it's time to wait. If, if maybe you want to, uh, uh, James, how no, you're not late, man. We did not actually do anything, we're not late. You came at the right time. So, if maybe you want to see how things work, you can compare maybe trading like maybe a character of a sniper maybe in a movie you will start to understand that you know snipers they don't just go around shooting shooting like the other uh their other uh, soldiers or whatever they don't do that they wait for a right moment then they make sure that they aim nicely and they shoot and sometimes they miss you see, and when they miss, you can see that that is the problem. Because if they miss, maybe the the let's say the, the what the the person who was supposed to be shot or the I don't know the name. I forgot the name. But if you miss, you will see the reaction because that person might try to move and. You were, it means now you failed on your mission. So you're not supposed to be like that. You see, you're not supposed, it's, it's not supposed to be like that. Every aim that we take, it should be precise. If maybe we lose some, it shouldn't be like more than what we, sh uh, what we win. So it should be like very, very low, by the way. Uh, target. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, 
thank you the target actually if you miss the target you are in trouble because they will be aware of you they will start to see oh there's someone trying to shoot but if you aim nicely and if you aim your target nicely and if you don't miss that uh, it means you can take out your target very easily you see and that makes you a better sniper yeah target thanks guys thanks uh yeah, thanks guys. Uh, thank you for just backing up uh, to, for for your backup. Uh, I forgot the name. You see, we talk so much, so much stuff. Thanks, Black Liquid. Thanks, Mosacha. Okay, miss the target. So, if you miss the target as a sniper, you are in, in trouble. I'm talking about the, these characters that we see in the movies. You see. So, as a snipers, it means we have to be always 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 cautious about whatever that we're going to do there because if we miss we don't really have to miss when we already in the trade because once you miss in the trade you just know what is going to happen the market is going to take something from you the market is going to take something from us and we don't really need that we need something from the market we have to capitalize from the market the more you miss the more you don't really make money you see, so we just need to make money, guys. We need to make money. We, we need to make money. Uh, and sometimes to make money, hey, it's not like what they show you actually on social media. Sometimes there is enough waiting. There's like, there's so much stuff going on behind the scene. If I show you the results, maybe tomorrow you'll say, oh, maybe this guy is just make money quick, quick. No, we've been waiting for some time we've been waiting but just because we, we don't we don't record the whole day and the screenshot is just a matter of seconds but we did wait for the whole day you just feel like oh it's possible to make this thing very quick these guys when they go on the market they just make money quick no it's not like that they wait for the right uh, opportunities and when those happens then it's where we we take our aim and we, we, we smash or we shoot the target. And when we show you the result, you'll feel like, oh, these guys, they they always making money. It's not like that. It's not like that, you see. Musacha, okay, thank you for watching that video. Uh, Thank you for watching that video. I can still maybe make another one because I actually just because I promised you guys to make that video, I, I was forced to make it very quick. I can maybe in in few days, maybe I can make something maybe uh, maybe on the chart, trying to show you those things on the chart, what to wait like now, if now you can able to wait here, it means you understand the strategy. The strategy is saying we have to take the trade when the market is up. Why is that? It's because I understand my strategy. And most of you, you won't understand what's really happening there because mostly people, when we are on a support area, they just think about buying. But actually, it's not like that. You see. I think everyone understand the... They understand the resistance and supports, but they don't really understand that it's not like it's when the market is on resistant you're supposed to sell it's not like always you're supposed to buy when the market is on the support area you see so sometimes we have to learn those things then when you say you have a trading plan it's it means you understand and you expect in certain moves to happen or to confirm with your strategy or your trading plan before you take action do you have that if you don't have that something that say wait for this wait for that do this do that if you don't have that you just always see opportunities uh, then you are in the wrong place yo uh, it means you can still uh, the market will punch you very very hey, not in a good way by the way so you don't have to be that person try to learn you can learn from anyone else guys i see someone saying uh us oil it's doing some stuff. Uh, US state is still trying to break that area. US state is trying to break that area. 
but it's coming back also so okay oh guys i see someone saying uh u.s oil is finally going down oh man i don't know but that small move unless if maybe you, you're watching that on five minutes or one minute but uh that's that that is just a small rejection by the way but anyway if you see it like that is fine um the miles also be something like this here above that area there must be something above that area for the people who understand or in the group they can scale up that if it breaks that area if there is a breakout from this area we can take another one around this area and then we also have another one here so we can keep scaling up when the market is creating moves like that so yeah to me that is not like a serious it's not like a serious uh, sell off but with that structure maybe something might happen but if there's a breakout we can just look at that nicely and see what's really happening US state is trying its best guys to break this area US state is trying uh, to break that area Oh, Nasdaq is also trying to push up, uh, by the way. Okay. Okay, you can see speech. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that will be great. Uh, let me try to write that down. Ish. You see now I'm missing my camera. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I will. I will make sure that I write. I, I write. I write that down. Actually, I will make sure that I write that down. Mm, I don't see. Let me just write that down, by the way. Uh, risk management. Up. Okay, approach to risk management and how to properly apply it. Okay. Yeah, you're right, man. This I think I see that. Uh, risk management is everything, guys. So let me say YouTube. I'm trying to. Oh, guys, just you, you know what? Where maybe we can do? Just give me maybe some of the topics of the videos that you want me to cover. That it may, it will make my job very easier. Like I can see, CPH okay is saying that. Uh, if maybe I can do a video about like risk management, how to approach it and apply it like properly, uh, I think that will be a very nice topic that uh, that I can try to 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 to, do, to make the video. If anyone maybe have uh, something like that, any questions that you, or maybe any topics that you feel like maybe you can, you want to get assisted with, write them down there uh while we're still waiting for the market to do something maybe i'll do those videos and send them maybe i can able to be uh, to make the video and combine those topics on one video or maybe two videos or whatever but as long as you can give me something there that's great
But guys, don't think maybe if we cover all these things, uh, now you are like, uh, because I understand some people, they they feel like when we say give us the the things like uh, the, the the topics, they feel like maybe oh now maybe I no longer want to join. No, whatever that I'm going to share there. It's something that you're supposed to learn. I'm just going to say with you the, the, the final product. But the thing is, you have to go and learn those things. You see, you have to go and learn those things. So don't just say, oh, maybe just because it's sharing all these things, I no longer want to join. No, you still have to go deeper than that. Whatever that I'm trying to share here is the main things that you can go and try to learn them. You see, it's the main thing that you can try to learn them. So I hope you understand that. So let's see. Supply and demand, support and resistance. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can see support and resistance, supply and demand, news trading versus chart trading. I see that, I see that. Hmm. Yeah, good question. Uh, good. That is a good one. Uh, psychology there. How to manage your emotions. How to manage emotions. How to manage your money. How to manage your emotions. So... Lot sizes and account balance. Yeah, there. I like that. I like that. Account. How to determine different levels. How to differ? Uh, okay. How to determine the different levels on the structure? Okay, thanks. Mm. Yeah, you see now. Now we're learning with this. With this. Uh, with this uh, topics that you given me there, or the issues that you have. Yeah. This, this, I am, uh, I, I don't really know how to pronounce this, uh, your name, my brother, in the group, this, 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 but I think maybe I'm pronouncing it nice, uh, correctly, so let me see the other one, uh, can you, op uh, can you, op can you open your US oil chart, I'll take a picture, okay, that's great. Okay, Mohammed Noor, uh, can you open your US oil chart? I want to take a picture. Okay. Okay, let me try to do that. Okay, it's there. It's going down a little bit. Uh, let me know if you took the picture.
I hope you can pause the video and then take the picture. I hope you can take the uh, you can pause the video and try to take the picture. Thank you. Uh, let's go back on US thirty. It's also playing around. You can see it's trying to move away again from that area that we call it a support. So any topics, guys? I can see we are seventy something. I can see we are 70 something. I was expecting maybe maybe 10 questions or maybe 15 questions. Nyana. Then when I do the video, I can cover because this one is I can cover them all on one video. Mm, yeah, maybe you'll have some. Where are you entering at? Uh, actually, on US 30. It's quite similar to to this new this structure is quite new so i'm going to enter above that resistant because we can call it a higher low for now but the market did not prove that to be a higher low so if the market goes above that we will be sure that okay now we have a what a higher low if the market wants to break that and we know that the market might create something like that that's why for now we're waiting you see that's why for now we're waiting so for let me see for that us 30 you can see that it's also similar sorry so now we have this higher low for us to be sure the market says to go above that then we'll say okay it means this uptrend is now keeping up uh with the trend with the uptrend so if it goes above that we we can have trades around that area and you know, if maybe this was not the first consolidation that we had, yes, we we're going to take trades around this area. But this is the first move that the right, actually the the move that has this type of structure is the first one and it's the fresh one actually. So we can't just jump and say we're buying just because no, we're going to wait around this area, then we can enter. But all this information, guys, we you just have to learn that information. Uh, before to have the rule to wait you have to learn that to understand that the maybe the structure is not really solid enough you have to learn those things you see so you have to learn those things uh, risk management and lot size yeah i think i covered that i have risk management and i have lot size and account balance uh, <clears throat> The other one is, do you think it will hit today? I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure. I, I don't really know much. I don't know. I will just wait for the market to do its thing. The best way is not to think for the market. Let the market show you, then you can do whatever that you see. Especially when you see something on the chart, you can react to what you see, not what you think. Uh, compounding your account compounding accounts account compound compounding account uh bitcoin more volatile trade compared to us 30. I can so can I enter now for next day? No, we we all waiting for, for to enter above that resistant. You can enter if maybe you feel like so, but we waiting for the market to break that area. Why? Look, since Monday, the market is is been playing around these areas. So, uh, for me to say something's changing, I have to see a breakout. So I can't encourage anyone to enter. By the way, so. Is Bitcoin more volatile uh, compared to US thirty? No, mostly crypto is way too volatile. Mostly crypto is way too volatile. Uh, crypto is more like seriously volatile. 
but now it's starting to be very 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 slow as there is like it's been selling all, uh, off by the way so i don't think maybe even if maybe it's been slow for this week or last week the volatility of crypto is still very like seriously aggressive you see so a us state is aggressive but us state is not even aggressive like nasdaq so i don't think there's something the only thing that i know that it's seriously aggressive than maybe crypto or let's say bitcoin it's volatility indexes uh, if you know volatility index 100 uh, volatility vix they call them vix vix 75 vix 50 25 yeah those ones are like seriously aggressive um yeah but they move quite similar to crypto they move quite similar to crypto so any questions guys i mean any other topic that you want me to cover uh, it seems like if maybe it's only this one it's also fine but it means you guys you don't really have enough issues it seems like you don't really have enough issues A uh, topic when to know to exit the market because sometimes does not hit TPs and most of the time, most of the time the market won't hit TP. Most of the time, the market won't hit your TPs. So let me see. Let me add that it's. Uh, Uh, another one is, can you explain why you think? Can you explain why you think NASDAQ gonna go like this? Like what, like, like what happened? Why, what is happening now? Um, uh, let me be clear, by the way. I'm not saying that Nasdaq is going to come here, break this area, then we buy. No. If I knew that the market will go, is going to do that, I was just going to buy here, you see. But just because we are, the probability for now is still very small. It means for us to say maybe we need to buy, the market has to break this area. Not like I know the market will do that. But... The market for us to say we're going to be in the trade, the market has to break that resistance first to show us that yes, that bullish move is actually doing that. But for us, when we wait, is because there is a chance for the market to also push lower. That's why we drawn these areas because the market showed us something. The market showed us this area. We drawn from what we saw, not from what we think. This area, the, the market is there. You can see the market, there's few candlesticks there. So we draw that area. And after, if the market goes above that, yes, it's where we can take a trade. Why? Also, we just broke out of this uh, downtrend resistant, which means we only, I'm only going to look for buy positions only. I'm not thinking that the market is going to do something. I'm just waiting for the market to confirm some moves before I act. You see, so that's that's what I'm. Uh, I, I expect actually, I'm not thinking that the market will do that. Uh, I only going to. I'm only going to buy if the market will do that. So there's a possibility that the market won't do that. By the way, hey, there's people here. They say girls here, uh, streamer, whatever. Hey, you see these guys. 
Naked HD. Why you see this channel, guys? Mm, I hope I answered you, my brother. I I hope I answered you. So that is the probability of what. Uh, Yes, yes, it's too much, man. It's too much. I hope I answered your pattern. So the structure there, actually, the market we are on a bullish move. So we ex uh, actually, it's not like I'm expecting the market to create that because if I was expecting that like hundred percent, actually I was just going to buy. So I wasn't going to wait. So now I'm waiting for the market to do something like this to so create moves. If it goes lower. Let's say the market is gonna push lower. We're still not going to act that much because I can also do something like this. I can also do something like this here and say maybe the market might do something like that also. So we always have two options. That's why we're not going to act. But if the option was only one, yes, maybe we we're just going to go with it. Or maybe when the market reaches this year. We're going to have one option because the market will be confirming exactly what we have on the table. You see, um, Mosacha, okay, top 10 or five mistakes most beginner traders make and how to work on them. Nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Yeah, now I have things that I can work on. With these topics, I can prepare one or two videos per day. Um, Yeah, I like that topic. I like I like that. Qu uh. Yeah, that I have like one, two, one, two, three, four five six seven seven topics yes if it breaks that area i will be will be expecting a buy opportunity yeah that's that's correct and yeah let, let it push it's been playing around those areas for some time now it's been playing around those areas for some time. Any questions, guys? Only three questions left. Then I'm, I'm going to have like 10 things that I'm going to try to help you with. Then I will just do those videos. Then you can go watch them. So, yeah, we left. Now, currently, I have seven questions or seven issues that maybe uh, I can go try to work on them. Then I will just do the videos then. Maybe some of them you will come here, you'll come back here, try to ask questions about that. So, events talk, uh, Mr. Kenza, you're the best. The fact that you don't just jump on the market, maybe. 
Okay, thank you, my brother. Events talker, how uh, I hope you're doing great, man. Oh, not talker, Tlaco. Events Tlaco. Thanks. No, you see, you see what I'm going to do. The best way that I, 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 I think maybe it's going to be simpler is to do the videos first. Then you can go watch them on yourself. Then once you watch the video, we can go live and say, you know what? Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is you we're just going to do the video. Then after that, yeah, maybe we can go live, try to discuss those things, what maybe you did not understand, stuff like that. But yeah, something like that. Um. Mm, yeah, that's that's the thing. I also had the same issue because every day, sometimes I used to wake up like around three, two o'clock early in the morning. Uh, expecting just to trade and I used to trade yo every day I used to just trade every day but when I start to realize that I'm over doing things it's where I start to say is that possible for me just to have an opportunity every day I just wake up now five minutes later I already took a trade that is not really uh, actually good for a trader you have to have things that you follow before because if you don't have those things you will always see an opportunity and mostly you must start from four hours time frame you don't see any opportunity you go to one hour you don't see anything you go from 15 minutes you don't see anything on five minutes boom there is an opportunity now you are in a trade but actually there's nothing that's the thing that mostly confuses people or traders they think maybe they think maybe uh if they don't see an opportunity on a different time frame they will find it on a certain time frame which is not right if there is an opportunity it should be all over the place okay. uh what how is this possible so it's like now we are on two hours time frame here you see this uh, resistance that we drawn there the resistance that we have there if we break out of that even if we go on for our time frame even if we go on 15 minutes we're still going to see that the market is very close to the resistance which is breaking we're going to still see that you see but uh if you don't really use that type of a method it's gonna be something else just because you don't really use any structure you will always see you will always find something So, opportunities, guys. Don't. Another thing I think that maybe people that should understand is time frames. So I think I should add time frames because people they have this thing of time frames in their head. They feel like oh, five minutes, I fifteen minutes, this and that. It's just the same thing, guys. It's just the same thing. You see. It's just the same thing, but just understand that. That same thing that we're talking about is going to be a bit different if you go closer or if maybe you go from, if you push it away as a distance. So you should understand that. But if you don't really understand the time frame, sometimes you feel like, oh, I'm supposed to use this time frame because you don't really understand what's really happening. I think I should add time frame.
Yeah, so... Mm, now we have how many? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we left with only two. We left with only two questions. Then we can call it call it a day. The market is still trying to push the upside, but uh, still taking time. The market is still taking time. So tomorrow, because there's NFP, I think we can, we can just go live uh, around half past quarter past two before before they release the, the, the figures for NFP. Any two other topics that you want me to cover, then they can be 10. Then for this month, I will try my best to make video for those things. Then I will make sure that maybe I can cover a few topics on one video or all of them maybe on one video, but just to make uh, some videos to be shorter, I can just make them very short. Maybe I can take two, uh, two topics, two topics, two topics, then it will be five videos. So the last two, maybe if you don't have anything, it's fine. Maybe you can give me some tomorrow. It's fine. So any, any, any other topic or any question? Let's see what's really happening on US 30. Okay. US 30 is also showing us that it's respecting that area. Let's see if maybe gold broke out of that. Uh, US oil is still pushing. Uh, gold is still playing around that area, so we don't have to panic. We don't have to panic. Everything's still respecting whatever that we have there, so let's just wait and see. Uh, so guys, I think maybe everything is fine. I see that no more questions, so it's best to uh, for us to meet tomorrow. Let's meet. Uh, around half quarter past two, uh, NFP before NFP, maybe we can get something. Maybe we can get something. So for those who wants to join the winning team, uh, there it's my contact. Just WhatsApp me. Uh, it's hundred and fifty dollars, twelve months straight. Uh, it's V VIP signals and only uh, and mentorship. Mentorship is actually where I'm going to teach you all those things and you understand them better. Twelve months is too much, by the way. So, yeah, let's meet tomorrow, guys. Let's meet tomorrow. I hope you're going to be here. So, before, before, before half past two, we're going to meet. We're going to see what's really happening on NFP. And if maybe there's a chance, we can try to trade. If there's nothing, like if we don't see, any, we, we don't see anything, we're not going to do anything. Simple as that. So, we don't have to fight the market, guys. You see. We don't really have to fight the market. So I hope maybe you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. Uh, then tomorrow is still another day. So thank you very, very much. This is Kenzo, by the way. Extra hot forex. Bye. Oh, how to trade with... Oh, sorry, guys. I saw your questions very late. Let me see. How how big banks trade against us? Uh, uh, my brother, that one. <laughs> I will try to check that, but I, I won't know that, my brother. I won't know that. But it's some other theories that people have, you know, that when they want to get your attention. Because they don't even, they never even worked at a bank, but they'll be saying how big banks trade against us. You know, people. But uh, it's how it is, man. It's how it is. So those people, they never even worked at hedge fund or maybe uh, central banks or whatever, liquidity providers. They never even worked at, at a broker or something. But they will tell you how uh, th uh, banks trade. You will... Uh, are it. I, I don't really understand that. But uh, I'm not going to do that because I, I, I never worked at any bank. Uh, so, unfortunately, how to trade with a small account? Uh, Musa, man, you have this uh, fire topics that I actually like. Uh, how to trade? How to trade? 
uh, with a smaller account. Another one is teaching us your strategy. Okay. So this one on the strategy side, guys, it's, it's more than the, the strategy, by the way. It's more than drawing the lines. There's so much stuff that we put. So it's not going to be like seriously easy for me just to say I teach you the strategy. It will be a shortcut. So for me to say that, it, it means you need to be in the group. Then I can teach you all those things. So simple as that. So, yep, let's meet tomorrow. Uh, I hope you're doing, you'll... I hope you're going to have a great day. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.